Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Good evening. Hello, Ronan. Good evening. Daniel. Good evening. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Merlin or Merlin, I don't know. Veraliz. Belen. And Fernando. I have Fernando here. Hello, everyone. Hello, Hello. Ronan. Good evening. Okay, now, yes, a favor to activate cameras because I want to I want to see you. Okay, there are some people who are just getting into the class. I have only eight people. And as far as I am concerned, you are 21. Okay, 21 people. So I will wait a little bit. Ronan says he's, in, he's at work. Okay, Ronan. Let me see, there are some people. Fernando says, good evening. Okay, good evening, Fernando. You can activate your, your microphone whenever you want to participate, it will be all right. Good evening. Okay, good evening. Good to see you, and I hope you can activate your camera as well. That's better, right? That is better. Okay, how's it going? I have Edgar over here. Edgar, good evening. Let's wait a little bit because I need to start by having the majority of the people here. All right, so I have eight people and we're going to start as far as we get like I, at least 17. 17 people, okay. We have Maria Helva. I have well Maria Alba is over here, fortunately. Hello, hello, Maria. Okay. Hey, I can see a lot of people. <laughs> a, a lot of people that uh, you were in the in the in the previous level, right? In basic English too. Now welcome to basic English three. Okay. Yeah, I have Mario Cristobal. Let's see, Veraliz, Ronan, Merlin, 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 Maria, Fernand. Okay, I will introduce myself because I can see there are some people who do not know me. Wow, Aidan got into the class. Good, good to see you. Hello, Aidan. Hello, Aidan. Are you there? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Aidan. Do me a favor to activate cameras, please. Uh, Mario Cristobal, hello. Good evening. <laughs> That's a, a, a new student, a new participant. Are you new here? Not really, right? Okay, very good. Now I have 11 people, it's getting better. Okay, let us wait a little bit. Well, I will check list attendance just to listen to some of you. You know, as always, I will check list attendance at the very beginning of the class and I will, I will check it at the end, okay? So after that, well, it, when, when I do so, I try to provide some extra time for people who are just getting into the class. Okay, 12 people. Well, well we're gonna start in a couple of minutes, okay? Welcome to basic English number three. <laughs> you will see that this level is better. All right. Uh, Aaron? Say hello. Say I'm here. Hello, hello. Okay, Belen. Let me know you're here, please. Belen is here, right? Daniel? Hello. Yes, and teacher. Hello. Hello, hello. Edgar. Present teacher. Good. Claudia Rubidia. Jonathan Josue. Jose Daniel. Juan Fernando, 
María Elba. Present teacher. Good. Mario Cristóbal. Berenice. I am here. Present teacher. Good. All right. Thank you, Mario. Uh, Merlin. Hey. Hello. Hello, hello. Michael. Michael's not over here, right? Noah? Noé? Norma? Ronan? Teresa? Vera Liz? Present teacher. Yeah. Nice to see you. <laughs> nice seeing you. And Jancy Lisset. Well. Well, I hope everybody can gather tonight. Okay, let me see. I have 12 people. Fernando says I'm here. Hey, hello, Fer Fernando. Good to see you. Oh, okay, now we're gonna we're gonna talk uh, about what's coming into this uh, level of English, right? But well, since I only have 11 people, you're supposed to be 20. Let me see. You are supposed to be Give me a second. You're supposed to be 21. So that means that 10 people are missing tonight. Well, we're gonna we're gonna try to make some time so that they can get into the class. Okay. So we're gonna be uh very kind. We're gonna wait for them and then we're going to start. Well. Wow, I, I can see people who were in the previous level of English, a lo, lot of people. Actually, the majority of you are, are the same people. So that's good. It is good because you know what to do, right, in the, in the course. <laughs> I really love that. I, I like it because now, now you know what's working under pressure, right? Somebody said it in the previous level, right? <laughs> Somebody said it, but I didn't say so, right? But somebody said it. Well, there are some people who do not know me. For example, uh, Mario Cristobal. Yes. Hello, Mario. Are you new here? Are, are this, is this the first time I teach you? Yes or no? Yes. This is the first time, right? Yes. Okay, so you're new here. Then I have, let me see. Fernando Varillas, right? Good evening, Fernando. Good evening. Good evening. So I think this is the first time I teach you, right? Yes. All right, pretty good. So I will try to introduce myself in a couple of minutes so that you can see what's coming soon. Uh, and also uh, Merlin, right? Good evening, Merlin. Hello, hello. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Okay, so I think uh, this is the first time you are in one of my courses, is that right? Yes. This is my my first time. Oh, uh, why not? I was uh, here. Uh, yeah, that's right. Pretty good. Okay, so we're gonna talk about the way we're we're gonna work during the course. Okay, so I will I will try to introduce myself as I said before, but I'm trying to make some time so that the rest of the people gather. Right? Let me see. We're we're gonna we're gonna see. This is the third time you will see this presentation, but I consider it's important, right? So that we can we can talk and we can define the way we we're, we're gonna work. Uh, we're gonna work in a course. All right. So, give me a second, please. Okay, somebody else got into the class. I don't know who. Who's the person? Let's see.
Well, well, let's talk a little bit about what's coming soon. 14 people, good, it's getting better. I want everybody to see this info, okay? So you know about what's everything or the way we work in the, in the English course, right? Okay, this is the English for Word Program Curse Basic English Module number three. So you got into to basic level of English number three, right? So uh, well, we're gonna we're gonna try to start doing this uh, English. It's quite good. Now you are gonna let me know why are you studying English, right? So that would be a really nice question for tonight. So think about it. Think about it because you're going to let me know why are you studying English? I mean, those are good questions to start with, right? And well, you know, my name is Enrique Ernesto Morales, okay? And I will be your English teacher for a month, okay? This is our first class and you know, I am a person who likes people to do their best, okay? I like uh, people doing their best effort in the class. I'm not asking for something else, but for doing your best, okay? And I know that you are willing to do so. I think you are people who are willing to, to do your best in the English course, okay? Remember that um, step by step, you're just gonna get better, okay? And you're going to get or reach a higher level of English. That's what you are looking for, right? So if you if you listen to somebody saying that I, I am very demanding, <laughs> Don't believe it, right? So I, I am a, only a, a, not a teacher. Okay, I'm just a teacher. And I, what, I, what I'm looking for is for you to improve your English. That's it, right? So that's me, okay? Another English teacher who wants you to do your best. No other goal, no other achievement, right? Because I know that there are some uh, learners who learn fast or faster than others, right? And that's really nice, okay? But that doesn't mean that we have bad students, good students, uh-uh, no. We only have good participants, good students. Do you think, that, uh, uh, do, do you think they, there are uh, bad students or, or bad participants? What do you think? Do we have bad participants? Or people who say, hey, I will get into the English course because I don't want to learn. <laughs> that is nonsense, right? So you got into the course because you want to learn. Is that right? Now, if you want to learn fast or slow, well, it's up to you, right? But what really matters to me is that you learn. Okay, now that's me. Well, I will I will say I will try to say some info in here. Okay, you know this perfectly, right? So this is like your third month that seeing the seeing the information over here. So but anyways, it's quite important. It's quite important to to see the information once again. Sometimes we tend to forget it. Okay, now. I will read it in Spanish so that we can we can um get into an agreement, okay? Get into an agreement about certain aspects of, of the curse. Okay, I, I I won't do it so frequently, but I really love to do to switch into Spanish when I try when I introduce my, the English curse because in that sense we have everything as clear as possible. Me voy a cambiar un ratito al español. Mucho gusto a a todos y a todas, un placer volverlos a ver y algunos poderlos conocer. Ok, creo que es, es maravilloso contar con, con ustedes acá en el, en el curso de inglés básico. 
Como ustedes ya saben, mi nombre es Enrique Morales, ¿ok? Y mi objetivo siempre va a ser tratar de enseñar lo mejor que pueda y que se lleven algo, algo significativo de este curso. Porque recuérdense que eh, ustedes van por niveles y cada vez el nivel va a ir pidiendo un poquito más de esfuerzo, un poquito más de disciplina, de tal modo que pues vayan avanzando a niveles de intermedio, avanzado, ¿ok? Y pues a lo mejor pues ya obtengan una preparación para un, un examen como un poquito más, más elaborado a nivel internacional. Bueno, miren, como siempre, yo creo que eso ya lo vieron tres veces ya, pero yo siempre considero necesario que veamos cierta información. Como por ejemplo, que recordemos que la nota mínima o el porcentaje mínimo que nosotros solicitamos respecto a tareas y evaluaciones es el 80%. ¿Ok? Para lograr culminar el curso de manera satisfactoria. ¿Por qué menciono esto? Pues porque ustedes ya saben que es sumamente importante ir trabajando en la plataforma. Ya están ustedes, este es su tercer eh, nivel y ustedes ya están más que familiarizados con, con esa plataforma, ¿verdad? Las tareas, ustedes ya saben que van a estar ahí. Las tareas de plataforma van a estar ahí, ¿ok? Y es muy importante que antes de cerrar la clase o después de cerrar la clase, ustedes puedan uh, culminar la tarea que siempre nos deja la, la plataforma. Por ejemplo, ahora vamos a ver un tema llamado el, eh, los infinitivos. Cuando nosotros terminemos esa clase, usted va a saber que en la plataforma va a encontrar un ejercicio relacionado a eso. Y eso tiene un porcentaje. ¿Ok? Las tareas también son complementadas con otro tipo de actividades que yo les voy asignando. Esto es sumamente importante, ¿ok? El tercer punto, porque Insafor, a Insafor se le envía eh, semanalmente un informe de sus, de su rendimiento. Entonces, antes de que, yo sugiero que antes de que la semana cierre, el día viernes, ustedes pues ya tengan completado los ejercicios, las tareas eh, relacionadas a la, a la semana en cuestión, ¿verdad? Esta es nuestra primera semana. El día viernes que, que nos encontremos, yo voy a la plataforma, reviso este, los, las actividades desarrolladas y ahí puedo ver porcentajes. Y pues ya eso se se informa a INSAFOR. La fecha límite para terminar el examen de medio, el midterm que todos conocemos, pues yo lo he valorado para el día 9 de agosto, ¿ok? Antes de la medianoche. La fecha límite para terminar el examen final sería miércoles 22, el 24 estarí, estaremos cerrando el curso, primero Dios, ¿verdad? El manual... No sé si ya todos lo tienen y, ah, parece que lo, se lo compartieron en el grupo, ¿verdad? Parece haber, parece que, que, que se lo compartieron. En caso no lo tengan, pues yo se los comparto luego. El, el PDF que nosotros utilizamos. Pues importantísimo para el, el docente y para ustedes también que coloquen su nombre, ¿ok? al conectarse, nombre y apellido. ¿verdad? Si en caso usted tiene alguna dificultad técnica o va de camino a casa y quiere estar conectado, pues entonces solo me pone ahí listener, me pone un nombre y me pone listener o oyente. Yo ya sé que usted en ese momento no va a estar en condiciones para estar participando y, y yo ya no voy a estar como llamándole para que, para que nos aporte algo en la clase porque a lo mejor usted pues no está en condiciones pero quiere estar escuchando la clase. ¿Verdad? Yo por ahí el, el, el nivel anterior alguien me decía, teacher, voy manejando, no puedo, 
no puedo este, estar participando. Entonces, en esas condiciones de voy manejando, por supuesto que es importantísimo que ustedes vayan 100% pendiente al volante, ¿verdad? Entonces, este, entonces, para que lo tomen en cuenta. La cámara, sí, por favor, se, le, se lo voy a pedir encarecidamente que la mantengan encendida, a menos que usted tenga una, una falla técnica. Okay. a menos que eso suceda. Pero de lo contrario, sí me, me gustaría que por favor encendieran su cámara. No es lo mismo interactuar con ustedes okay, a través de la cámara y estarlos viendo cómo trabajan, estar viendo sus, 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 sus gestos faciales, me ayuda mucho. Algunos, cuando nos cuesta algo, hasta les, nos rascamos la cabeza, nos, as, nos ponemos así, ponemos cara de... Uy, me está costando mucho. Todo eso, créanlo o no, es, es otro lenguaje y a mí me sirve. La verdad que sí me sirve. Entonces, oh, es importantísimo que, la, que mantengan su cámara encendida. Otro aspecto importantísimo también es mi, tratar de minimizar el sonido ambiente lo más posible. Por ejemplo, ahorita solo mi persona está participando, ¿verdad? Entonces yo pues he ambientado un espacio acá muy cerradito en donde yo considero que no, no va a haber interrupción. Ok, si alguien más está participando, entonces yo cierro mi micrófono. ¿Por qué? Porque si habemos tres, cuatro, cinco personas eh, con, con micrófonos abiertos, aunque no estemos participando, pero a lo mejor ahí hay una mascotita, hay un, o, o donde alguien vive, pues, pasan mucho los buses, o hoy que van a estar las fiestas agostinas, pues, que, que se va a oír el ruido de, de, de la música, etc. O sea, pueden suceder muchas cosas, ¿verdad? Entonces, tratemos de minimizar el sonido ambiente. Y el último punto de esta parte es, creo que es una de las más importantes, si no la más importante, participación activa. ¿Ok? ¿Qué implica participación activa? Necesito que eh, estén, estén uh, willing to. Willing to quiere decir este, prestos a, prestos a participar. Willing to. ¿Ok? Con el deseo de participar. ¿Por qué? ¿Por qué les exijo participación activa? Porque si solo estoy escuchando, ¿ok? Y no, no participo en clase, pues hay una parte de mí que no está tomando ventaja al 100% del, del curso, ¿verdad? Entonces, mientras más practico, yo siempre se los he dicho, es mejor. Mientras usted más practica, es mejor. Mientras menos practica, este, su aprendizaje se puede volver, sí, claro, va a aprender a su estilo, porque cada quien tiene un estilo de aprendizaje, pero la sugerencia es que su participación sea activa. Recuérdense que la asistencia de los 120 minutos es sumamente importante que, que estemos acá, ¿ok? En el nivel anterior casi logramos el 100% como grupo. Casi nadie faltó en el nivel 2. Entonces, yo terminé el nivel 2 con mucha alegría, mucho orgullo, mucha satisfacción, porque casi logramos en asistencia al 100%. La mayoría se conecta y son muy puntuales y, este, y casi no faltan, ¿ok? Y eso es genial. La asistencia, ustedes ya saben que se toma en dos ocasiones, al inicio y al final. Ok, sumamente importante que usted pues me ayude a verificar que efectivamente usted está en clase, que está acá con un I'm here teacher, hello teacher, present teacher, etc. Saben que las sesiones se van a encontrar disponibles en la plataforma, ¿verdad? La clase que ahorita estamos eh, teniendo está siendo grabada y el día de mañana ya ustedes la pueden visualizar en la plataforma. Permisos no hay, permisos disponibles. ¿Por qué? Porque realmente solo son dos horas diarias, es muy poco. En realidad es poco, ¿verdad? El tiempo son cinco días a la semana y que alguien falte, digamos, una noche, pues se hace bien, bien difícil recobrar esas dos horas. 
Recuérdense que hay un botón para eh, silenciar. Ok, mantenerse en silencio, su cámara. Estos son como los recursos que tenemos. Hay un chat que muchas veces si alguien se... Yo he tenido ocasiones en donde hay participantes que pues han tenido algún, algún percance o alguna falla técnica, pero siguen participando en el chat. Ok, y eso es muy bueno. O sea, si mi micrófono me falló, si mi micrófono falló, entonces yo utilizo otro recurso, el chat. Y si no tengo el chat, hay otros que se van al grupo de WhatsApp y en el grupo de WhatsApp están participando. Eso quiere decir que tenemos la actitud correcta para aprender. Lo siguiente, pues ya saben que en algunos momentos pues hacemos diferentes grupos para trabajar. Aquí hay un botón que usted puede levantar la mano para solicitar ayuda. Y esto también lo considero muy importante, el respeto. ¿Ok? Nosotros ya somos adultos, ya identificamos pues qué es el respeto y respetar al que está aprendiendo, se equivoque o no se equivoque, es, eso habla mucho y muy bien de cada uno de nosotros. Bueno, acaban las semanas. Ustedes ya saben que la semana va del 24 al 28. Luego vamos del 31 al 11 de agosto porque pues tenemos las, los días de vacación. Ok, eh, nos vamos este, del 1 de agosto y regresamos o tenemos nuestra clase el 7. Luego va la semana del 14 al 18 y finalmente vamos del 21 al 24. Tenemos actividades de escucha, las actividades para practicar nuestra, uh, para nuestro speaking, hablar en inglés, escuchar en inglés, reading activities, leer y writing activities. ¿Ok? Tenemos actividades individuales, actividades en parejas. Y actividades grupales. Así que, welcome to your basic English course, module number three. Any question? ¿Alguna pregunta? Antes que ya nos metamos de lleno al curso. No, no question. Por el no momento. Question. Ok. <laughs> Pretty good. All right. Let's see. Now, yes, right? So we're gonna we're gonna spend like five minutes, okay? Five minutes. Let me see how many people do I have here. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Well, I have fifteen. Okay, from those fifteen, okay, little by little, we're gonna we're gonna tell me your name, okay? Tell, say your name. And uh, say something you like, okay? And say nice to meet you to the people that are new here. Vamos a ocupar pues unos cinco minutos en, en donde ustedes van a decir su nombre y este van a decir algo muy personal de ustedes en inglés y le van a decir hello a alguien nuevo que miren acá en el grupo porque la mayoría creo que pues ya nos conocíamos pero tenemos personas que pues son compañeros nuevos y que tenemos que incluirnos en nuestro equipo, ¿se recuerdan que yo les decía que, un, que somos un equipo de trabajo? Ustedes y yo, un equipo, como un equipo de básquet, un equipo de fútbol, ¿ok? En donde todos queremos meter gol o todos queremos encestar, entonces todos tenemos que ayudar. Ok, let me see. Ok, Daniel, quickly, please. Hello, my name is Daniel Sifontes. Uh, I like the English class. I like uh, this group. I like classmate. <laughs> y saludos para Fernando Varías. Okay, very good. Edgar. Hi, teacher. Hi. Uh, my name is Edgar Reyes. Um, no, no, there are so many people <laughs> here, right? <laughs> okay, now say hello, everybody, right? Hello, everybody. <laughs> hello, everybody. Okay, Aidan.
Ok, I, I will do excuse something. Me, excuse me, teacher. Okay. Eh, eh. Solo que tengo una llamada en este momento. Ah, ok. okay. So, Aida, okay. we'll talk favor. later. Ok, there's no any problem. Then we have eh, Belén. So, Belén. Oh, she's working now. Eniva. Good evening, everyone. Uh, 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 happy to be with you again. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, I like. Uh, I like. <laughs> is, uh, I am a, ten, a technician in electrical. Uh, my pleasure. <laughs> My pleasure, okay. My Thank pleasure. you very much. Now, anybody else? I think it's better, right? I think it's better if I ask somebody, okay. But little by little, I think we are gonna we're gonna we're gonna meet each other. So Fernando, okay. Pretty good. So let me see. Let us try to, to know people who are new. Ok, vamos a tratar de conocer a las personas que, que, que son nuevas acá en el grupo, ¿ok? Y poco a poco, todos los días vamos a ir viendo, pues, o vamos a ir tratando de conocernos todos. Let me see, people who are new. Fernando Varillas, right? Yes. Hi, good uh, evening, all of you. Uh, my name is Fernando Varillas. Uh, I like uh, cooking food. And uh, I like uh, soccer and basketball. I like to play soccer and basketball. You like to play soccer and to play basketball. Pretty good. Nice meeting you, Fernando. Hi, hey. everyone. Every. <laughs> okay. Merlin. Uh, good night. Good evening. Everyone, my name is Marlene Cortez. Um, I I like play basketball too. Um, um, only that. <laughs> Just that. Okay. Now, who who else is new here? Who's who else is new in the neighborhood? <laughs> um, um, uh, Esmeralda. Ah, Veralice is new. Veralice? No, she's not new, right? But she, but I think I think Merlin wants to, to know about you, Veralice. Okay, say hello to, to everybody, please. <laughs> <laughs> hello, everybody. My name is Veralice Melara. I am 36 years old. I'm happy to be here. Welcome everybody. Excellent, pretty good. Mario Cristobal, you say you are new here, right? Hello, my name is Mario Cristobal. Uh, I like uh, play soccer, basket, uh, Solamente digo yo. <laughs> That's it. Pretty good. Okay, people. Now uh, we're gonna we're gonna get down to business. We're gonna start. Okay, and, and I want you to get very concentrated. Okay, because you know, um, we're gonna start with a with a topic tonight, and I have a lot of work to do. So let us try to start. Okay. So if somebody else wants to say something, be something else before. Uh, starting, that would be really nice. Si alguien más quiere decir algo antes de que iniciemos, perfecto, tome, tome su tiempo. Y si ya no hay más participaciones para dar inicio al curso, entonces nos vamos ya al trabajo. Merlin. Sí, este, yo quisiera, bueno, me, es que he tenido problemas para, para ingresar a la a la plataforma, a esta, justamente la que está mostrando. 
me imagino que en el transcurso de, del día de mañana me van a dar respuesta. Es que he tenido problemas para iniciar sesión en la plataforma. Oh, ok, Merlin, y ya lo pudo, lo pudo Solo notificar. que lo hice hasta, sí, solo Ah, que ok. lo hice hasta ya hoy en la noche, ¿verdad? Ah, ok. Ah, ya tarde, eso, eso sí. De acuerdo, este, me gusta el comentario de Merlin porque ya saben ustedes que el equipo con el que contamos es, es amplio y hay personas que se dedican justamente a apoyarles en cualquier situación técnica. Yo lo hago con gusto, pero algunas veces como que no puedo encontrar algunas respuestas, algunas dificultades. Entonces, pero si usted lo coloca en el grupo, va a haber alguien que le, que le va a apoyar, ¿ok? Si acaso Sí, usted... solo, sí, Sí, solo Merlin. que yo lo hice ya unos cinco minutos antes de iniciar y me imagino que obviamente por eso es, ¿no? Exacto. Pero ustedes ya saben que ahí está el grupo. El grupo está, fue creado justamente para, para que, que interactuemos ahí, para que este, las personas que están encargadas del aspecto técnico también puedan visualizar alguna dificultad y ustedes pues este, se sientan cómodos um, y puedan pues recibir el apoyo que necesitan. Ok, so this is nobody else. Thank you, Merlin. Well, I think we're going to start now. Unit number one, company identity. Is the name of the unit, okay. Merlin, you want to, to add something else? Merlin? What? Are you going to include something else? Uh, no, no, no tengo nada más que preguntar. Ah, uh, uh, okay, okay. Gracias. Okay. All right, so this is our topic. Okay, how to use infinitives, right? So in the previous level of English, we, we, we saw uh, some examples on uh um in, in which we use infinitives okay but we didn't go directly to those examples right so but tonight we have the topic infinitives okay and we're going to go directly to them as you can see over here you have the first uh i mean you have the first uh homework over here okay there are certain exercises and let's see now let's see i want to know if you if you um if you have an idea about what is infinitive and let me see in order to start people we have this 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 and we have this where is or which part of the sentence one two three four Five or six. Which part of the sentence is the infinitive? Which part of the sentence is the infinitive? Infi Remember, our topic is infinitive, right? Infinitives. Uh, this is our topic, infinitive. Now, number one, infinitive, yes or no? No. 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 Number two? No. Oh. Number three? Yes. Yes. Uh, yes. Num number three is the infinitive. Number three. Okay, number three is the infinitive. Okay. Let's go over the next. Now, let me see. What what if I tell you that that is not the infinitive? Delay is not an infinitive. No. What is the infinitive? To ship. To ship. That is the infinitive. Okay. Now let's see the next one. 
Where is the infinitive in the number two? Do we have an infinitive, yes or no? To bring. Uh, to bring? But we have an ing over here. Is this an infinitive? No. No, it is not an infinitive. So in here we don't have, we don't have infinitive. No, we don't have it the second one. Number three, where's the infinitive? Do we have infinitive? Yes or no? Prefer? Prefer? Is it is this an infinitive? Yes or no? Yeah. Uh -uh. No. no. This no. is not an infinitive. It is not. No. What about number four? Where is the infinitive? To provide. To provide. Very good. Now, yes, right? That is the infinitive. Now, what about number five? Do we have infinitive over here? Yes, no, no, yes. No. No. No, right, very good. Okay, now, th this is the way that, uh, uh, that I started with the, with the class, okay? Now, you know, I will go over some info that the book present, the PDF. I hope you got the PDF, right? Hey, something that I would really appreciate you to do is to have a, a document, you know. Uh, this is quite, quite important also. Recuérdense que, bueno, yo, para las personas que son nuevas en el grupo, yo solicito que vayan trabajando un documento Word, ¿ok? Un documento Word o que vayan trabajando, pues, un cuadernito en donde, pues, se visualice lo que, aquellos avances que usted considera significativos de cada, de cada sesión. ¿Por qué? Porque de repente, pues, yo les digo, pues, fulano de tal, compártanos eh, lo que aprendimos o algo que aprendió usted el día de ayer entonces pues es importante que ustedes tengan sus apuntes all right so here we go so do you know this is this is a manual all right this is the beginner the module number three okay so you know over here Uh, we're going to start by having this uh, topic, okay? That's about company identity, okay? And what is all about? Well, we're gonna get there in a minute. And we're going to see something just for you to, to get familiarized, like a warm up, like warming up your previous knowledge, right? So what are you what are you gonna do or what are you gonna be able to do after this class? Well, you're gonna be able to or you will be able to write an effective business mission and vision, mission and vision statement. We're gonna see what that is. Okay, is it is it. What do you think? Is it important for staff to know the mission and vision of a company? This is a good question. What do you think, people? Is it important for staff to know the, the, the mission and the vision of, a, of the company? Yes or no? Tell me first. Is it important? Yes or no? Yes, it is or no, it isn't. Is it important for the staff? Yes, yes it is. Why? Because I need to know about the company for work. It's important to know about the company. What else? Um,
because uh, for uh, understand the meta, como se dice meta in English. Look for the word meta in English. Okay, so that's quite important. Also, what what Daniel is doing because this this rem re reminds me about. Uh, ad advising you to to open the web the web page a web page in which you can see or you can translate. Recuérdense que poco a poco el español va a ir desapareciendo mm -hmm. y yo siempre les recomiendo tengan abiertita por ahí una un traductor o un diccionario en línea, ¿ok? Eso es importantísimo. Okay, why and how does your everyday work take the company closer to the vision? Oh, this is a good one, okay? Now, I, I will wait for your answer. Hey, how does your everyday work take the company closer to the vision? How would you how would you answer that question, people? That's a good one. I need to listen to some of you, okay? Not only Daniel, remember? It is, it is quite nice listening to you in the class. Okay, somebody's okay, Ronan. Okay, I got it. Okay, people, how does your everyday work take the company closer to the vision? Well, if you're not if you're not able to answer that question now, so take it as a homework, okay? So if you're not able to listen in or, or to answer in this question, take it as a homework. Okay, mañana la voy a volver a preguntar. Homework. Uh, homework, okay? So, but for tomorrow, you need to be aware of it. Todos de deben estar listos el día de mañana, okay? A responder estas dos preguntas. Now, I have one question on here. Listen to your teacher read the conversation and practice with the partner. Well, it says, do you hear about the visit of the manager today? That's Diana, right? And we also have Celia. I did. We should be ready to answer questions about the mission and the vision of the company. Let's read them. Okay, our mission is to make our guests feel at home from check-in to check-out. Right. Our mission describes why our business exists. Then Celia says, and your vision is to become the most preferred beach hotel by family by 2020. <laughs> so they're supposed to be the best now, right? That's why right. our vision tells where our business wants to get in the future. Okay, now what do you see, people? What's what do you see in the conversation? What do you see? You know, what are the expressions that are involved? You know, what are the expressions that are involved? Como dicen palabras en negrita en inglés? Busquen ahí, por favor. What do you see? Or what are the expressions that are involved in the in the conversation? make ah we have to make you know what's in in both right to make and what's the other one to become to become what are and those become. two expressions where are those two expressions people to make to become what's all about them to make is mission and to become is vision is is mission <laughs> It's about mission. Our mission is to make pretty good as part of, of, of their mission and to become as part of their vision. Very good, excellent. To make, to become. Besides that, what are those expressions? What is the topic for tonight, people? Infinity. In... You know, they, they are appearing. They started now, right? In feet, in knee, tears.
this is our topic, right? So infinitives, is this an, an infinitive? Yes or no? Yes. Is this an infinitive? Yes. Okay, now do you see some other infinities in the conversation? To get. Where is it? Let me see. Do you hear about the visit of the manager? To get. What wants to get? In which part? Let me see. Al final. To it's get. At the end. Oh, I'll tell you. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. Finally. Uh -huh. uh, I finally got it. <laughs> okay. Now, is there any other one? You can, you, can, you can interact with the screen, right? Se recuerdan que pueden sure. interactuar con la pantalla, ¿verdad? Si, si alguien lo puede señalar. Okay. To answer. Okay. To answer. Answer. Okay. What else? To check out. To we feel at home from check in. Uh, to check out. To check out. Okay. Is there any other one? No, right? Now, where are those? Those are infinitive. Don't forget the way we. Uh, 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 the form of the infinitive. Now, I want to listen to two people, okay? Uh, let's listen to Merlin, and let's listen to... Hey, I have another person here. Let me see. I saw Jose. Let me see. No, that's Juan Fernando, right? Oh, I have one. Very good. Now, Merlin. Merlin wants to participate. Okay, Merlin, go ahead and also... Uh, Fernando, right? Merlin, your start. Um, I am Diana. <laughs> yeah, just say, do you have Diana? Did you hear about the visit of the manager today? Hmm. Tengo que leer todo, o, no, o... no, let, let us listen to Fernando. I think, Fern Fernando, are you there? Now, can somebody help a Merlin? Can somebody help Merlin? Me too, Thank you. Oh, okay, I have an Ivan over here. Uh, Michael, you're going to help me later, okay? Okay, so Aníbal, go ahead. Uh, I did. We should be ready to answer questions about the mission and the vision of the company. Let's read them. Good. Okay. Our mission is, is to make our guests uh, feel at home from check-in to check-out. Right. Our mission describes why our business exists. And our vision is, is to become the most preferred beach hotel, hotel by family, families by 2020. 20. That's right. Our vision tell where our business wants to get in the future. In the future. Good. Now, we're going to do something, people. You know, in this level, uh, one of my goals is uh, for you to practice your, your fluency, okay? Una de las metas que vamos a buscar en este nivel es flu fluidez, okay? Vamos a ir tratando de, de trabajar fluidez, okay? Primero, 
¿Saben cómo podemos hacer? Es como leer así un poquito despacio, asegurarnos cómo se pronuncia cada palabra. Eh, did you hear about the visit of the manager today? Ok. Ya que sabemos cómo se pronuncia cada palabra, podemos ir tratando de, de decirlo un poquito más rápido, más natural, ¿ok? No se trata de, de que suene como que, como que somos metralletas, no. <risa> Sino que es como decirlo con naturalidad. Did you hear about the visit of the manager today? ¿Ok? Cuando nosotros logremos la fluidez que nosotros estamos buscando, entonces nuestro trabajo ya terminó. Ok, I did. We should be ready to answer questions about the mission and the vision of the company. Let's read them. Ok, our mission is to make our guests feel at home from check-in to check-out. Right, our mission describes why our business exists. And our vision is to become the most preferred beach hotel by families by 2020. That's right. Our vision tells where our business wants to get in the future. Okay, so when, whenever you get in, so you start like, like, like trying to practice every single sentence, but in a very initial way. Vamos a darle que cinco minutos de práctica. Okay? Tienen que practicarlo todo, porque cuando le solicite a una o dos parejas que lo lean, lo tienen que leer muy, muy bien. ¿Ok? Con naturalidad. Cinco minutos. Five minutes. Cinco minutos para que practiquen ahorita.
Okay, one minute. Dang it. Some of you are going to help me. All right, very good. Now, I need to listen to two pe two two couples, okay? In a very quick way, very good, Merlin. Once again, thank you, Merlin. Now, who's gonna help Merlin? Merlin and thank you, Berenice. Very good. Okay, okay. Then we have Merlin, Berenice. Then we have Maria. And, and Belen, and we have Belen over here, and Aniva. Okay, now let's start with uh, Merlin and, and Berenice, right? Okay, Merlin, Berenice, you, you can start. Okay. Um, did you hear about the visit of the manager today? I did. We shall be ready to answer questions about the mission and the vision of the company. Let's read them. Okay, your mission is to make our guests feel at home from check in, check in to check out. Right. Our mission describes why our business exists. And your vision is to become the most preferred beach hotel by families by 2020. That's right. Our vision tells where our business wants, wants to get in the future. Thank you to both of you. Thank you. You will notice that little by little in, in practice. Over and over again, you will, you will, um, your, your pronunciation, your fluency is going to improve. Thank you very much. Maria in, uh, in Belen, right? Okay, Maria in Belen. <laughs> yeah, is that right? Maria in Belen. Yes, I am. Yeah, you can start. Okay. Did you hear about the visit of the manager today? I did. We shall be ready to answer questions about the mission and the vision of the company. Let's read them. Okay. Uh, our mission is to make our guests feel at home from the to check out. Right. Our mission describes why our uh, business exits. And our vision is to become the most preferred beach hotel by family by year 2020. Uh, that's right. Our vision for where our business want to get in the future. Fantastic. Thank you very much. And we finally have Anibal in Juan, right? Juan, you can start. Uh, did you hear about the visit of the manager today? I did. Uh, we should be ready to answer questions about the mission and the vision of the company. 
Let's read them. Okay. Our mission is to make our guests feel at home from check-in to check-out. Right. Your mission describes why our business exists. And our uh, vision is to become the most preferred beach hotel by families by 2020. That's right. Your vision tells where our business wants to get in the future. All right. Quite good. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. Now, do me the favor to look for some, some questions. Okay. Escuché que algunos se equivocaron, ok, en esa pronunciación. Ok, no sucede nada. Miren, cuando nos equivocamos no sucede nada. Nada más que yo debo de señalar para que mejoremos. Ok. Do you hear about the visit of the manager today? I did. We should, should, should. I don't remember, but I will include it because it's important. Okay, I noticed about this or or our mission, our guests. I noticed also that some of you need to remember about the person singular. Okay. That's important, right? To remember about certain certain words. Once, once to get in the future. All right. So these are like some 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 words that you should take into consideration. Okay. Remember every single time that you are exposed to. Okay. Sorry. No sé si alguien le va a tomar foto o, lo, o van, a ir, van a copiar las palabras que yo sugiero que busquen en un diccionario y las practiquen una y otra vez. Una y otra vez, ¿ok? Ok, you have it there. So tomorrow I will, I will ask some, some other people to tell me. A una pareja le voy a pedir el día de mañana que lo vuelvan a, a, a leer. Para reafirmar. Ok. Now we'll continue, people. I will continue. Well, so I already introduced this, right? So listen, it says read the mission statements of successful companies and match them to the companies on the right. Compare your answers with the partner. Now, who wants to help me to read the first one? Who wants to help me to read the first one? Hello, hello. Who wants to help me to read? Okay, uh, Merlin. Very good, Merlin. The first. You know what are, what are these, right? They are mission statements, okay? Now, and then you will tell me, okay, who, uh, to, to, you will tell me about matching them with the companies, right, on the right. So, for example, in the first one we have, to be the most customer-centric company in the world where people can find and discover anything they want to buy online. What is that? Amazon. Okay. Very good. Somebody said, Daniel got it. Very good. Now, can, can somebody help me to read the, the letter B? Anybody? To be the global energy company most admired for its people, partnership and performance. Admire for its people, partnership and performance. What is that? General. Okay, so very good, Chevron. <clears throat> now, letter C. Nice. No, but do me the favor Thanks. to read the, the statement, the mission statement. 
the letter C, letter C, A, B, and C, letter C. To bring inspiration and motivation to every athlete in the world. All right, what is that? Nike. Nike, right? Nike. Okay, Nike. And the letter D? To answer and not to the human spirit. One person, one thought, and one neighbor are at a time. All right, to inspire. inspire. Very good. Now you know nurture, right? So right. if 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 you if you uh, something something sure. else, I I I advise my participants is nature. to look for everything. Yeah, no, that is nurture. To inspire and in nurture. You if you don't know about that word, do a favor to look for it and get the. And get the the meaning of that. What is that? I mean, how do you match this uh, statement mission Starbucks? statement with Starbucks? Oh, Starbucks. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So we got it right. So well, actually, we already finished with it. Okay. Remember that one. One. Uh, one homework you're gonna get over here from this part is to to let us know about the mission and the vision of your company. Okay, mission. Actually, you have two homeworks so far. Hasta el momento tiene dos tareas. Okay, se recuerdan? Esta es la primera homework. Homework. ¿Cuál es la otra tarea? Que nos digan la misión y la visión de sus, sus lugares de trabajo. ¿Ok? Si están en español, ustedes mañana nos lo explican en inglés. ¿Ok? Y esa es la segunda tarea. ¿All right? Al final, recuérdense que siempre pregunto cuáles son las tareas que quedan. ¿Ok? So, over here, you have, you have some, some, let me see, we share some, some links. Okay, I have some links over here, so that I will share them in the in the WhatsApp group, so that you can you can you can um you can see right. Teacher, How to, tell me, teacher. Uh, what is the second homework? Home, okay, first homework. You know, first homework. La primera tarea. Es la de la misión y visión. Okay, sería una una. Pero la, la, la otra tarea es que Why? nos contesten esto. Hey, is it important for staff to know the mission and the vision of the company? Say, yes, it is, teacher. Okay, but why? Okay, why? Si ustedes se recuerdan, yo inicié con esto y solo una persona este, lo, lo, lo contestó. Entonces, yo necesito que todos estén listos con esto. Per day of mañana. And how does your everyday work take the company closer to the vision? Okay. So that's for tomorrow. So what number of pages is this one? This is page number number nine. Okay. Actually, we're in the page number nine. And uh, well, the links that I have over here are the links that are in the PDF, but I will share them so that you can you can go over them in, in detail. Don't worry, because I will I will I will share them. I will share them in the in the chat right here this is the first that's for the mission and the other one is for the vision and they are very interesting okay there you are you have the links for tomorrow right they're gonna be very useful for tomorrow and also we share them in the WhatsApp group. Okay. 
Okay, there you are, both links. So we're more than, than ready to start with the cloud for tomorrow, right? So, so you see. Well, be, before going to the next part, okay, because I have something else over here to teach you. Uh, well, I will stop sharing this. Vamos a un ratito el PDF. Okay, and we're going to see something else over here. Because there is something else just for you to see. Okay, our topic, infinitives, right? This is our topic. Don't think about the color of the presentation that I was thinking about Barbie, because I know Barbie is in fashion now, but <laughs> that was not my purpose, okay? <laughs> it was not my purpose, okay? No me van a cuestionar por el color, porque en realidad, pues, no estaba pensando en la película. Okay, infinitives. Now, you know, we have infinitives, and we use them in different ways, okay? We have present infinitive. Now, we are clear, people. First off, let me see. We are clear. ¿Estamos claros de cómo vamos a formar un infinitivo antes de ingresar a, a esta presentación? ¿Qué necesitamos para un infinitivo? The verb in the basic form. To... Ok, we have a verb in basic form. Por ejemplo, basic ¿este form. es un, un verbo en forma base, Daniel? ¿Yes eh, o no? Pues, eso es el falta del to, to have. Ah, ok, pero eh, have solo ah, have, have en la forma básica, sí. How, sí. Ah, ok, so yo digo, if I say love, Base form? Yes. If I say study, base form? If if I say uh, write, base form? Is that base form, people? If I say C, base form? If I say type, base form? Yes or no? All of them are base form. Yes, okay. base form. What do we need to make them in, in infinitive? What do we need to, to have the infinitive of each base form? Anteponer el tú. Okay, so that's what we need, right? We need two. And that is the infinitive. Wow. Okay, <clears throat> now have, have base form. To have infinitive. Okay? So what's the infinitive of love? To love. To love. Study. To study. To study. To study. Right? Right. To write. To write. See. Yeah. To see. To see. Type. Right. Type. Oh, type. To type. All right, so now, so you need to be aware of it because, well, this presentation is, is I mean, all about uh, infinitives. So let's pay attention. Now, well, to go to see some more examples, right? Now, then I have present infinitive and negative. Now, to make it negative, what do we need, people? Not. not not that's simple like that right not to go not to see not to love not to study not to and then you you just say your name right negative then we also have some other some other expressions and in this case we're gonna see them in past to have gone to have seen and let us try to get familiarized with with these Ok, lo voy a empezar a preparar para otros temas que se vienen más adelante. Ok, y vamos a empezar a familiarizarnos. For example, you have gone. Ok, what is the, the base form of gone? Es el verbo, ok, esto es un verbo. Gone y sin son verbos. Y. Gone, go. Uh, what is the base form? 
Los verbos se mueven con tres formas, ¿ok? Go. ¿Cuál, es el ¿Cuál será el pasado de go? ¿Quién lo busca en la web? Went. Ah, went. ¿Cuál será el pasado participio? Gone. Gone. All right. Vayan familiarizándose ya con algunos verbos. Porque los vamos a ocupar más adelante. What about seen? Faith form. Base form. Sí. Sí. Past form. Sa, sa, so. 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 Past participle. <coughs> Seen. Okay. Seen. Go, went, gone. Sí, so, seen. Va, empiecen a memorizar porque se vienen otras cositas que si ustedes no memorizan verbos, se les, se les puede dificultar mucho. Ok. Now. So, then we have past infinity. Hey, to have gone, to have seen. We also have past infinitive in negative. Not to have gone, not to have seen. <clears throat> Verbs that are followed by infinity. This is very important, people. No sé si alguien se recuerda del básico 2 que alguien me pregunta, ay, teacher, ¿y cómo está eso que algunas veces el verbo va seguido de, un en, en, de una forma verbal ing y otras veces con forma de, de tú? Ah, bueno, aquí tenemos un pequeño listado. For example, after a agree, you are going to, you are going to see a verb an infinity form over here. Okay. Agree to. Agree to do. Agree to have. Agree to invite. Agree to us. Agree to whatever, right? But it needs to be like to. Después de este verbo, van a encontrar un infinitivo. Okay? Sí o sí. Sí o sí. Arrange to. As to, beg to, choose to, decide to, expect to, forget to, have to, hope to, invite to, manage to. Well, all of them are followed by infinitive. Okay. And then you may say, hey, but how am I going to know when it's, uh, it's followed with the ING and when, to, when is, is it followed by uh, infinity? Well, you need to memorize, okay? Se viene una parte en donde ustedes van a empezar a memorizar, okay? Okay, is it clear, people? Después de cada uno de estos verbos, ustedes van a encontrar un infinitivo, es que... Lo que tenemos que tener claro es que si yo digo agree to do, ese to do no es un verbo. Esto es, le vamos a llamar infinitivo. El que es verbo es este. Y de, delante de este verbo vamos a tener un infinitivo. Want to, ask to, beg to, manage to, remind to, remember to, tell to, seem to, plan to, promise to. All right? Is it clear? Hello, hello. Are you there? Clear, teacher. Yeah. Uh, clear, very clear. Okay, now later on you will you will see. I will see what you got doing here. Now there are some other verbs that are followed by how to. How plus infinity, right? How to or how to. So how plus infinity, how come? Well, we have examples such as explain how to, know how to, discover how to, find out how to, and we have two examples. I know how to make a cake, you see? How to, how to make, how plus infinity. He discovered how to cure cancer. You see, explain how to, know how to, discover how to, 
find out how to. There are some other verbs that are followed by infinitive, by plus infinitive. Examples. He helped me to start. He helped me to start the engine. Now, verbs follow by to infinitive. He helped me, okay, me to start. Okay, so later we're going to study about these object pronouns, but because we're, we need to. We need to to um, we need to go over them also because in some other topics you, they are going to be very very valuable. We also have indefinite pronouns followed by infinitive. Indefinite pronouns such as something that's in indefinite pronoun. Somebody, anything, nothing. Example: I have nothing. To wear, nothing to wear, infinitive. Everybody, you see, everybody needs somebody. We have everybody, we, need, we have somebody, right? Somebody to love, to, to love. So what, what do we have there? Well, we have indefinite pronouns. Indefinite pronouns such as something, somebody, anything, nothing. Everybody Okay, and somebody. Okay, more about infinitive, followed by infinitive. Hey, it's time to go. Hey, you see, infinitive. It's time to go. It's easy to say. It's hard to understand. To, to understand, to say, to go. So after, after certain expressions such as it's time, it's easy, it's hard to. Then we have followed by it's two, two, it's two followed by infinity. Examples, it's good to be true. It's too easy to say. It's too hard to understand. Okay, we have some others. The continuous forms of the infinitive. So how come? So we have to be ing in the present. They seem to be quirking. They seem to be quirking. Where's the infinitive? To be. Then where is the ing form? Hey, as you can see, after the, the, the infinitive to be, we have an ing form. So that's something that we are gonna learn later. We have to be plus have plus ing. They seem to have been working a lot. Okay. Don't worry if you don't get the whole message. Okay. But little by little, I, I, what I want you to do is to get familiarized with it. Okay. Great job. Questions about it? Questions? Hello, hello. Hello, hello, questions? Merlin, any question? Uh, any question? No questions at all. Okay, don't worry because little by little we're gonna go and work with it. Now we're gonna we're gonna solve some exercises. Okay. And then I will allow you to create, to work on your mission and, and the, on the mission and the vision of your comp, on, on the company you work. Let me see, because I have something else in here. Yeah, so here. Now, I will share this page.
Okay, now we're gonna we're gonna have this, okay? We're gonna have this exercise. It says, well, actually I tried to explain what's going on with the infinities, right? So infinities are included in the grammar of syllabus at the stage when students have developed a proper understanding of verbs. Many students often get confused with questions involving infinities and as a result, end up doing them wrong. With the help of the following exercises, students will develop the basic understanding of infinitives. And that's what I want you to do, right? To, to manage basic information about the infinitives. Now, quick out the following exercises and check the answers once done. Okay, for example, Ruti will be ready and we have the the verbal form over here. What what do we need to have there? Type the infinitive. Dijiste en el infinitivo que debe de ir ahí. En el chat, please, in the chat. Ruti will be ready, her idea about the project to the manager. Let me see. I don't see answers in the chat. What is, what is what? Excellent, very good, Daniel. Merlin, that's the way it is. That's the way. Okay, 2%. Okay, what about now Daniel or Merlin? Read the first sentence, please. Or Aníbal. Read the sentence. Lean la oración, por favor. ¿Cómo queda? Ruthie will be ready to present her idea about the project to the manager. Good, to present her idea about the project to the manager. Very good. What about number two, people? What's infinitive? Aníbal got it. Hey, Aníbal, read the whole sentence, please. Aníbal, you got it. You got the answer, right? Read the sentence, please. Aníbal. Tina was happy. Tina was happy to clear the examination cross. Good. What about number three? You brag. You brag was on fit to play. Uh, to play in the match. Excellent, very good. Number four, jumping. The little boy was terrified uh, to jump into the river. To jump into the river. Good. Yeah. What about the next one? The convict uh, was a uh, uh, looks uh, reluctant. Reluctant. To speak. The truth. That truth. Very good. Thank you, Maria. I can see Maria and Berenice are also participating. Maria, Berenice, Aníbal, Merlin, Daniel. Very good. I hope to see the rest of you there participating. What about number six? The poor man didn't have the money to buy food. To buy food. Very good. Juan Fernando, I saw you there in the chat. What about number seven? Prendi then continue uh, to work for a long time. Okay, to work for a long time. To work is the other one. Very good. Number eight. The mechanics uh, has managed to fix my laptop. To fix my laptop, okay? Number nine. There was nothing for him uh, to fight for. Okay, to fight for. Number 10. 
the doctor said there was nothing to sorry about the patient's health. All right, to worry, very good. About the patient's health. Number 11. Hope you're including the infinities in the chat. Amy has, Amy has come to meet Penny. Amy has come to meet Penny. Good, to meet, very good. Juan, Berenice, good. I can see you're practicing in the chat, okay? Number, number 12. I'm sorry to her about your loss. I'm, I am sorry to hear about your loss. Good. Number 13. The college. The college has agreed to post the final examination. Okay, to postpone the final postpone. examination. Fantastic. Number 14. Please remember to buy vegetables and fruits from the market. Please remember to buy. Good. And the last one. Don't forget. Don't forget. Come on. <laughs> don't forget continue, continue, <laughs> <laughs> don't forget to send the documents to sign <clears throat> okay to sign the document pretty good now now you have done here right let us read only the infinitives can me ayuda a ir leyendo los infinitivos to present to present <laughs> To, to clear, clear, to clear, to play, to play, to jump, to jump, to speak, to speak, to buy, to buy, to work, to work, to fix, to fix, to fight, to fly, to worry, to worry, to meet, to meet. To hear, to postpone, to postpone, to buy, to buy, to sign. This is sign. to sign, right? Sign. Yes, that's right. So, well, listen. I have something in here, and there is a way to to tie or to join sentences. Acá nos pide el ejercicio, vamos a tratar de hacerlo juntos. Nos pide el ejercicio que unamos las dos oraciones utilizando infinitivos. Por ejemplo, every class has a class teacher. She takes care of all, of, of all the students. ¿Cómo uniríamos eso eh, 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 utilizando un infinitivo? Uh -huh. Every class has a class teacher. Has a class teacher. Aquí termina una oración. Aquí comienza la otra. Uh -huh. ¿Cuál sería de every class has a class teacher? She takes care of all the students. Study? She to take... Ah, ok. En la primera vamos a eliminar el punto porque queremos que continúe la oración. El she. Vamos a convertir tercera persona en infinitivo. Por ahí lo dijo Daniel, creo que fue, o Fernando. Entonces, ya la oración está unida. Mira. Every class has a class teacher to take care of all the students. Y ahora sí, ya tenemos una oración. Y lo hemos unido con qué? Con un infinitivo. ¿Quieren intentar con otras? Yes. Ok, voy a borrar esto. 
hagamos una cosa. Bueno, ya tienen dos tareas. ¿verdad? Entonces, termine, veamos cuántas logramos hacer ahorita de estas. Ok. Tía collects all coins. No hay día. Tía collects all coins. Tú is her hobby. Ah, I got an idea. <laughs> I, I got an idea. Okay. Coins to hobby. Uh, what about if we if we is if we tía, switch? Tía collects okay. all coins to her hobby. Ah, ok, so, let us try, miren, esto es súper genial, yo en realidad no he visto las la respuestas, no sé qué es lo que me va a decir ahí, pero una manera sería empezar así, miren, her hobby, emito esto, esto lo paso al principio, her hobby, el hobby de ella, is to collect, yes or no, y continúo. Is to collect. ¿Estoy diciendo lo mismo? Is to collect coins. Ok, y esto, esto lo borro. Her hobby is to collect coins. Veamos cómo está acá, cómo nos... Veamos. Ah, it is Tina's hobby. Ah, ya lo hizo de otra manera, miren. It is Tina's hobby. Ah, it's because Tina collects. Ah, yeah, it's because it's using hair, right? It is Tina's hobby to collect all coins, okay? Yo le tuve que dar vuelta acá. No se me ocurrió este. No se me ocurrió este. Pero ambas estaban bien. Ambas están bien, okay? Don't worry. Okay. Now, we're going to do something because, because of the time. As you can see, number three, we have... Ritu went to France. She wanted to see the Eiffel Tower. Esta está fácil. Ritu went to, um, to, to France to want to. Wanted going to France. Wanted no. to see. No. Ritu went to France. To one, Fernando. To one to see. Ah, ok. Por ahí lo dijeron. Vamos a borrar esto. Para unirlo. Y el punto, por supuesto. Ritu went to France to see the Eiffel Tower. But esto, esto ya es de intermedio. Mira. Para ver significa acá. Porque tiene dos significados. Ahí poco a poco lo van a ir, lo van a ir, ir, ir identificando oh, sus usos. Oh, ¿Ok? Porque, vaya. Un infinitivo puede significar to see. Significa ver. Pero más adelante, en, en intermedio, ustedes se van a dar cuenta que también puede, puede significar para ver. Pero depende del contexto, ¿ok? Y poco a poco. Ok, so, let's see. Ah, ok. Quiero decir, tenemos igual que está aquí. Ritu went to France to see the... Okay, very good. Okay, so that's it, people. That's it. What, what am I going to do? Well, if you want to continue practicing, I will share the, the link. Okay. 
Uh, I'm really glad because you actually identify what's in infinity, right? That's, that's a, that was the main goal over here. Now, I will stop sharing this info, okay? And I will share the information about, let's see, I lost it. Give me a second. That's over here. Well, we're gonna get back to this part, okay? So we we have like 10 minutes more just to finish, okay? So, and remember you have like 10 minutes to share some 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 of your ideas, some of some questions, some something that you want to include at the end of the class, okay? Now, se recuerdan, verdad? Que una tarea es que nos digan la misión la visión de sus lugares de trabajo para el día de mañana. Si ustedes se dan cuenta, la, las, la misión, ok, comienzan con infinitivo. To bring, to inspire, to be, to be. Ok, so that's for tomorrow. And also the other homework is this one, right? Merlin, any question, Merlin? Any question? Yeah, okay, no question. Very good. Okay, so far so good. Now, listen. Okay, ahora váyanse por favor a a la plataforma a completar el ejercicio. Mientras yo paso el listado por acá. Porque se nos fueron las dos horas súper rápido. Ellos se sentí rápido. Okay, uh, uh, Daniel. Present teacher. Uh, Aidan. Present teacher. Good, Belen. Present teacher. Excellent, Edgar. Present teacher. All right, Gladys. Present teacher. Fantastic, Jonathan. Hey, I didn't listen to Jonathan Jose tonight. Jose Daniel. Present teacher. Okay, Jose Daniel, you're new here, right? <laughs> okay, Juan Fernando. Present teacher. Perfect. Maria Elba. Present teacher. Cristobal. Present teacher. Berenice. I'm here. Merlin. Present teacher. Michael. Present. Okay, Michael. You're very, are you sleepy tonight, Michael? Mm, Let me see. Where are you? Michael. <laughs> ah, I saw you, Michael. Are you sleepy now? <laughs> you know, not you know a, a big cup of coffee, right? Uh -huh. Profe, fíjese que no puedo entrar al chat. No. Ajá. Uh, uh, no sé si. what, uh, WhatsApp or, or this chat? Eh, WhatsApp. Ajá, me mm. parece como cargando ahí. Uh, give me y, a second. Eh, igual, este, le quería pedir ahí que siempre mandara ahí los PDF para chequearlos ahí. En, en que sean tiempo de, en el lunch. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, <laughs> ma okay <laughs> Michael, give me a second because I have the link over here. Is okay. this WhatsApp group? Okay, it's over here. Michael. Now the, the link for the WhatsApp group is, is over here in the chat, Michael. Okay. The last link is, is the WhatsApp group.
Okay, I say uh, Aníbal. I hear you. Norma Xiomara. Ronan. Teresa María. Vera Liz. Present teacher. Okay, and Chancy. Chancy. Okay, that's that's quite good. That was fantastic. Okay, now Aidan, what's the what are the homework for tomorrow? Eh, misión invocar eh, misión y visión de la compañía en la cual trabajamos y el por qué. Ajá. Okay, very good. So that's easy, right? Hey, and besides that, remember that we started with an exercise eh, in the previous in the previous level of English. Okay, para las personas que son nuevas, eh, pues bienvenidos a, 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 a nuestro equipo. Okay, ahora, ahora pues pertenecen a nuestro equipo. Este, y pues necesito que todos los días aprendan una frase nueva. <coughs> todos los días, todos los días una frase nueva. Okay, eso lo continuamos. Okay. Puede ser una frase célebre, puede ser alguna, algún eh, trabalengua, puede ser al, algo nuevo, algo nuevo que ustedes han aprendido en inglés. Una frase, me recuerdo <risa> Daniel, Daniel, ¿cuál fue la, la frase <risa> del, 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 del nivel anterior? Time after time. Time after time, yes. <risa> <risa> es un vaya, fíjense bien, Daniel, esa frase, no sé desde cuándo él traía como la inquietud de qué, de qué uh, significa. Años de... <risa> ¿Qué significa esto de time after time? Uh -huh. Lo investigó y ahora eso ya no se le olvida, ¿ok? Entonces, eso es lo que yo pretendo con, con ustedes también seguirle, darle, darle secuencia a eso en este nivel. ¿Ok? Además de eso, pues eh, espero el día de, de mañana tenerles ya las fechas de cuando ustedes van a tener una participación como más activa en donde, en donde ustedes nos van a, van a hacer una actividad acá en el grupo donde nos demuestren cómo o qué aprendieron durante la semana. ¿Okay? Eso también pues, ha, me ha, ha sido tan efectivo que pues no lo voy a soltar. De momento no lo voy a soltar. Me ha ayudado mucho en los grupos y creo que nos va a seguir ayudando en este nivel también. Así que preparados porque esta semana ustedes deben de tener una actividad lista en donde nos presenten o nos, nos de alguna manera nos, nos muestren lo que han aprendido durante la semana. ¿Ok? Y alguien puede decir, teacher, ¿y qué, qué, qué puedo presentar? Bueno, puede ser un speech de tres minutos, puede ser un ejercicio que usted visualizó en, alguna, en algún lugar y pues nos lo quiera mostrar cómo usted lo resuelve, puede ser un cuento que usted se aprendió en donde aparecen los infinitivos señalados, eh, puede ser algo de pronunciación, o sea, algo muy significativo que ustedes saben que se van a llevar eh, de este nivel, sí o sí. ¿Ok? De acuerdo. Ok. Ok, mañana les digo si, si va a ser jueves o viernes. Pero ustedes estén preparados. I don't know. Uh, no sé si hay preguntas, si hay este, algún comentario, alguna sugerencia, pues bienvenido. La verdad me siento muy, muy contento de volverlos a ver y, y contento también de conocer nuevas personas acá en el grupo. No, pues, este, gracias, Ticho, por lo que no pensábamos que, que, que íbamos a tener nuevamente el, el Ticho. <risa> Fíjense que yo hasta ahora como a las seis vi la, el listado, porque, porque tenía una, una dificultad, y cuando voy viendo, wow, otra vez, dije, oh, qué genial. Esto, no, a, mí genial. Lo, a mí me lo mandaron el sábado, creo, y, y vi su nombre, Ay, de nuevo, dije así. <risa> Pero... <risa> Qué bueno, pero pues la verdad que, que nos ha enseñado bastante. Ahí vamos a seguir, ah, la verdad que... Y, este, y eso a seguir aprendiendo más, ¿verdad? Sí, la, la, o sea, 
Ok, Aníbal, la, la práctica es el maestro, ok. Necesito que cuando finalice este nivel, ustedes bueno, adquieran otro nivel de inglés, más vocabulario, más pronunciación, fluidez, etc. Ok. Ok. So, no more questions, participations. No. Ok, no, pues, so, no. Profe, este... solo el PDF, tal vez me comparten el WhatsApp. Okay. Michael, le voy a enviar okay. directamente el enlace porque yo tengo su contacto, el enlace del grupo, ¿ok? No, este, ya, 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 ya ingresé, habló por el PDF, le decía. Ah, ok, ah, le okay. voy a enviar entonces la, la, la presentación. Uh -huh. Perfecto. Bueno. Ok, so, see you tomorrow, people. Good night. Okay, see you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Merlin, any any question, any comment? Eh, no, ninguna pregunta. Solo, eh, bueno, que pasen buenas noches. Okay. Me nice. estoy, yeah, me yeah. estoy ambientando. Excelente, Merlin. <risa> Merlin, ten, tienen dos tareas para mañana, ¿ok? Ah, la felicito por la participación activa, que veo que este, eso le va a ayudar mucho. Ay, ojalá, porque de pronto tanto tiempo sin, sin, sin estudiar un poco de inglés y, y, y pues uno, uno tiene que que participar, creo que eso es lo más importante para que para que se den esos procesos en la mente y, y se afiance uh -huh. así es, le presento por ejemplo a, a Michael que Michael, eh, bueno eh, creo que él también lo ha identificado los avances que él ha tenido porque él es un joven que le gusta participar mucho y eso le ha, le ha servido increíblemente, ok Sí. Eso, la motivación que no se debe perder y la, la ganas de aprender algo nuevo todos los días. Uh -huh. okay, sí. Así que, Vamos un a placer. Mucho gusto para okay. todos. Okay. Buenas noches. Okay, good night. Michael, ya le comparto las la, 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 la presentaciones, ¿ok? Gracias, Fichel. Buenas noches. Thank you.